what we are showing today is that there's a variation in hair density and hair um, size. Cal each individual hair can have a different caliber, even looking at the um, donor occipital area, which is the far back um, above our neck, that area of the donor hair. In a prior video, we showed the differences between the occipital area and te temporal area. Today, we are showing that even within the occipital area, there can be variation. This is a female donor. There is a finer and denser hair here, and I hope you can see this. And if you compare this area to this area, hair is getting a little coarser and stronger and sparser. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this hair to create a very front of a hairline so it looks natural and soft as normal um, hairline would look like. And this will be hidden within the hair behind the um, front hairline so it can create a density and it won't be, um, it, it would blend with existing hair. So once again, the softer hair will be used to create a hairline very, very front. And this is the beauty in part uh, where hair transplantation is a combination between artistry and a technique. Anybody can dissect the grafts, but to know the difference between a fine hair and a coarser hair and how to use it is the artistic part of hair restoration. All right, I've been asked to uh, take over here in my clarification skills. Um, the occipital area, I just wanted to point out, is referring, as a medical term, referring to the back of the head in the center, where you, if you lie back on the back of your head, that's the occipital area. That's the piece we're looking at. Compared to last time, we tried to show you the difference between the temporal area, which is the area right above the ear, compared to the occipital area, which is on the back side in the center of the head. And today, we're just showing the variations in, in hair density, as, as well as hair caliber and, and uh, shape and size and all that uh, just in one single piece in the occipital region.